here once again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The right is forward, left is back, right? Just wait for our slides to come out here. Do we get them on the sides too? Okay, we'll, we'll hit it. Okay. So, the other day I drove down to Conestoga College, pulled into the parking lot, I was looking for a parking place. After I pulled in and got out to pay for the parking meter, I realized I had no change in my pocket. So, uh, luckily, I looked in front of me and some kind individual had actually left a loony on the meter as a, a random act of kindness for whoever was going to come after them. And that one act of kindness dropped a tiny bit of happiness into my day where otherwise I could have had a much more depressing experience. Recently, CEO of LinkedIn, Jeff Weiner, posted an article saying, random acts of kindness, there should be an app for that. And once it was posted, it blew up on social media, and Glider is a solution. So, Glider is a, a, a random app of kindness. Um, this is how it works. Uh, one of our users decides they want to send a, a gift, say a, a cup of coffee, to another user of the app. Um, they log into the app, they choose to give someone a cup of coffee, uh, they pay for it through the app, hit send, and uh, you'll see on the recipient side, um, they receive a notification. <clears throat> In theory, they receive a notification, and uh, once they have that, they can go into the uh, Starbucks, collect the uh, cup of coffee they were sent, and enjoy the benefits of uh, someone else's kindness. So, um, the retailer is receiving more foot traffic into their business, the person receiving the free gift is getting the, the joy of a free gift received, and most importantly, the sender is experiencing the joy of what it means to inject some kindness into the life of a stranger. Uh, we should highlight that the person receiving the gift is chosen completely at random. The sender has no idea who's actually going to be receiving it until after it's sent. So based on our survey results, we wanted to target males and females between the ages of 25 to 35 that were working. And we found that they're the ones that are most receptive to uh, we also saw that uh, over $10.6 billion uh, were given by individuals in financial donations in Canada in 2010 uh, to charitable organizations or various causes. This just demonstrates that people out there are willing to give money to virtual strangers in order to help make their world a better place. And we didn't want to just walk the walk, but we also wanted to talk the talk. Other way around, that's okay. So this weekend, we did some random acts of kindness ourselves and went around the Kitchen Waterloo region and actually gave a bunch of people free coffees and snacks. And this is also one of our marketing strategies that we want to use to develop more customers. We also have been able to demonstrate proven viral growth with this idea over the weekend. We sent out a survey monkey survey to uh, 60 or 70 people, just connections that we ourselves had. And yet we found that we actually received over 300 survey responses um, through that survey. So people were actually sharing the idea beyond uh, just the circle that we had sent it out to. So we believe there is some actual vira virality built into this idea itself. So the way that we plan on making a little bit of money is to charge a slight premium on transactions that people want to give to other people and we would take just a little chunk in order to cover our costs. Now there are other apps out there to help facilitate random acts of kindness. Uh, most of these apps are either uh, apps that will send you suggestions for kind acts you can do, um, allowing you, apps which allow you to send gifts from one friend to another friend in their social network that they already have, or apps just for sharing stories about random kindness. What differentiates us is uh, the magic of the randomness. So the receiver is chosen completely at random. We are allowing the universe to inject some serendipity into uh, uh, the process of who's receiving the benefit of uh, these gifts. So uh, as far as how this helps the community, we're establishing new social connections uh, through giver and receiver with this app. You can send a thank you note to the person who uh, sent you the free gift um, and connect with someone else who shares your generous mindset. Uh, there are benefits for the local businesses who are having new traffic driven in through the door. 
And uh, we've actually already had conversations today with the KW Community Foundation, uh, who run the Random Act of Kindness Day here in Kitchener Waterloo, about working with them in the future with their app. And I'd like to say, this is not our team, but say hello to our team that's over here. Thank you very much for being here. So, just like that guy who gave me the loony, we want to encourage you to send out some happiness to your community today.